Welcome to Ibridix. This video is the 2024 version of the PL300 exam, aka Power BI Data Analyst uh, Associate exam by Microsoft. And in this video, I am here for you to talk about the differences between last year and this year and mostly I'm making this video in order to answer some questions that I've got on the comments mostly about the asking about uh, my um, experience and what did I do in order to pass the exam and particularly uh, most of the most of you guys are asking about the uh, materials that I've used in order to pass the exam. So I will share all the materials and I will share with you also the um, how, where you can find it and how much time you should use in order to properly um, prepare for the exam. Alright, it's getting a little bit warm here so I'm gonna remove my hoodie. And uh, yeah, this is a sincere talk. I'm not gonna talk about the uh, administrative stuff and so on i'm not working for the microsoft so i'm not doing the, any any advertisement of any product so i'm just sharing my own experience own ideas and what how i passed the exam in order to be useful for you in the in this path of getting the microsoft uh, exam so if you're interested in the materials that I've used, you can skip this part and go to directly to the materials part. Or uh, I have also an update for you for this uh, for for this year Power BI exam, and uh, so I'm gonna talk about this too. And if you're gonna jump to that part, you can jump directly to that part and without losing your time my aim is not to make you lose time on youtube uh, by watching my videos but to give you the value give you the um, contribute to your time and respect your time and your uh your because the time is the most important resource well <laughs> let's go to the direct point of the power bi so first uh i started to watch you this Udemy video, um, video lectures by uh, the author. So there are practical examples, and at the end you will find the case study. You can go through the case study, and I found it very interesting. Also, in order to learn something practical, a part of passing the exam. So if you want, if you are interested to have the 360 degree of understanding how the things are working in the Power BI as a Power BI developer or the data analyst, it's worth to uh, watch all the lectures and uh, follow that. But I wouldn't lose that much time on this. So just um, have the basic experience. So you know how the things are working. And once you have all of this done, I would recommend you to follow the Microsoft Learn official um, official materials in order to prepare it for the exam. So you just go through the Microsoft Learn and see what 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 the things are, how to find the different topics. This is because of the structure of the exam. At the exam, you will have the uh, open book uh, form format of the exam where you can go to the Microsoft Learn and search for the. Um, for the answers. So you're allowed to do that. That's why it's important to know where and uh, how you should navigate on the uh, on the Microsoft Learn and how should you find the answers for the questions. Um, once you have this part done too, you can go with this uh, Udemy um, material and here you will have the simulation of the exams. But don't get like scared of this exam. If you don't pass pass that, if you have the fifty percent, if you have the sixty percent, you're already in the good a good way. So passing with a seventy here means that you are gonna pass exam 
because the a real exam is much more easier rather than this exam, this exam samples of, 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 of him, of the author. And last but not least, I found so useful to follow the discussions in the exam topics. So make sure that you're going to have a look to exam topics too. Um, and the final point that I wanted to share with you is that Mm, good news that the exam questions that I have, uh, when I had taken, have remained more or less the the same. So, um, if you're gonna check exam topics, you're gonna find almost ninety percent of the questions um, coincide, coinciding with the questions that you have. You're gonna have at the exam. So follow these discussions as a final and uh, the, the important point of your study schedule. So if you want to dis- divide your time uh, to uh, prepare with these materials, I would use uh, 20% of my time to go with the uh, first and the second part. Uh, I would use then other uh, 30% with the exam questions that are exam samples and 50 percent searching for the discussion and uh of course taking again uh, some points about navigation of the microsoft learn because it's the most important part don't remember, don't forget that you can navigate if you have some questions remained if you have some doubts about that you always can ask me don't uh, be shy, just write on comment and I will try to help you and do my best in order to make you to ace this exam as I did. Um, good luck. So see you next time. I'm, I'm sure that you're going to make this exam too. I believe in you.